That goes all the way back to a pagan, uh, pagan tradition that was before the Christianity was formed. That goes back before Brahman, goes back before the Greeks. Right? They do it in Haiti, they do it in India. Glossolalia is practiced everywhere, just the, the utterance of random gibberish. <laughs> Right? The apostles weren't doing that. Right. Most high sent the spirit down on them to communicate with the Israelites who would be scattered abroad to the four quarters of the earth from different nations. And they would speak in the language that those people knew and they would understand them. Because the whole point of them speaking is to edify the people to come back to God's laws. Right? right? You're not edifying anybody when you're speaking in that random gibberish. Right? That's, we're going to get this right here, read. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven right. as of a rushing mighty wind. Right. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Right. So this spirit came into the house and filled the whole house where the apostles were sitting, right? Read. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, right? like as of fire, right. and it sat upon each of them. Right, so each one of these men were given the ability of tongues to speak and communicate with Israelites of different nations, read. And right. they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Right, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit. Let me get that for you. But the Holy Ghost is the Word of God. Hold on, keep on reading. And began to speak with other tongues. Right, so they began to speak the words of God in other languages. Right. right. And the Spirit gave them utterance. Right, read. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem. Right. Jews, devout men out of every nation under so, heaven. So here it is, they're speaking to Jews from other nations, devout men, those who are fervent for God's laws. Right, who want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Here it is, the apostles are speaking to them in their language. So they're being edified. Read. Now when this was noised abroad, right? the multitude came together. Right, so the multitude of Israelites who weren't here at this moment, when they heard about this, because this was such a big deal that they all heard about it throughout the land, they came together. Read. And were confounded. They were confounded, because how was it the apostles, who are Hebrews, from Jerusalem who speaks specifically majority of the time they only spoke about three languages Greek Latin and Hebrew right or uh, Aramaic right so here it is how is it these men are able to speak to these other Israelites coming from different nations right read because that every man heard them speak in his own Language. So here it is. The Christian church is teaching glossolalia in some type of holy divine language, but nobody's being edified. Nobody's learning anything. But here it is. The Israelites here were hearing the word of God in their own language. It was clear to be understood. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Right. Thou shalt not be covetous. Right. Love another man's wife. Right. Right. Love God as you love yourself. Right. Love brother as you love yourself. Right. They, the edification was being brought forth. That's what it is when it's talking about tongues here. Read. Verse 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, right? saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Right. And how hear we every man in our own tongue? So these are Galatians. These are, these are Israelites that were living in the land of Galatia. So here it is. They speak the dialects coming from that land. How is it now we're able to understand them in our language? That's what they're saying here. Read. Wherein we were born. 
right? So whatever nation that we were scattered abroad to, because the Israelites during the time of the Maccabees, something they don't teach in the church, a lot of the Israelites went into captivity. Right. They went to Syria. Right. They went to uh, what you know as Iran. Right. They right. went to India. Right. A lot of them right. were scattered to the four corners of the earth during the Maccabees times. So here it is, they were brought up in different languages. So now it is the apostles who were charged by Christ to go to these different nations and teach them, are able to communicate with them through the power of the Most High. The Spirit was put onto them to be able to communicate with other Israelites who spoke different languages. Right. Not gibberish. Read. Parthians. Right. And me. So these are Israelites coming from different countries. There's Israelites coming from Parthia. There's Israelites coming from the Medes. Read. And Elamite. Right. They were coming from Elam, which would be your East Indians, Bangladesh, Bangkok, in that area. Read. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Right. Those in Mesopotamia. Read. And in Judea. Right. Judea. And Cappadocia. Read. Parthia. Right. And Asia, right? Phrygia and Pamphylia, right? In Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene. So at no point in time do you hear about some divine angelic language that nobody can understand except for the prophets, right? That's all nonsense. That comes from traditions of the world, right? Right. Now let's get that in. Uh, let's go to First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse one. Great to continue, what Paul talks about this because that that practice. Before Glossia became very big in the, amongst the Israelites, right? They were just doing something else. Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 1. Read right. out. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, right. but rather that ye may prophesy. Right? So prophesy. When we prophesy, the main thing is that the Israelites are supposed to prophesy to their people is God's commandments. Right. Getting yourself right. right? right. This right. is what's going to happen if you break God's laws. Right. For he that speaketh right. in an unknown tongue. So he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Right? When you speak glossolalia, when you go into that nonsense, you're speaking in an unknown tongue. Read. Speaking not unto men. He doesn't, you're not speaking to me. You're not speaking to anybody out here. If nobody can understand that language, you're not speaking to anybody out here. Your purpose is not to wake up God's people. Right? right? Read. But unto God. Right? For no man understandeth him. Right? Because God's going to be the only one that's going to understand your nonsense. Read. How be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery. Right? Because nobody's going to understand you. Read. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification. So he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification. So here it is. We have the Bible right now. We're speaking to you. Everything's clear to be understood because we're speaking in a language that you know, right, sister? So you're able to be edified. You're able to be taught by the Word of God because there is no smoking mirrors. Right. We're not trying to hide anything. This Word is as clear as day and being broken down as clear as possible so you can get the proper understanding. Right. right? And exhortation. Right. And comfort. Right, so here it is, we're supposed to teach you how to gain salvation. Why you should be comforted by the scriptures. What you need to do to get yourself right. Right, that's what we're supposed to be edifying. Right, people right. exalting them up. You are a child of God, right? The way that you're living is, this is not us living. This is us living through the curses that God poured upon us that's for right. breaking his commandments. Right. right. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Right. Edifies himself. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself. So imagine this. You're in a church of predominantly black men and women, right? So-called Judah, right? And you're speaking Spanish. They don't know English. I mean, they only know English and you're, you're edifying them in Spanish. Right. You're not edifying anybody in that church. Right. You're not bringing out any understanding. Read. But he that prophesied edified the church. But he that prophesied when you, when we're pro edifying the church, the whole purpose is to get a clear understanding. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.